Hey, what's up? Is Chris on the longest way? Or am I? I don't even know anymore. I mean, I know I'm Chris, and that's good, I guess. But am I on the longest way? I don't know. What I would like to say at this point is the usual. Trying, as always, to walk back from China to Germany. But then let's not kid ourselves. I'm not walking, I'm not trying. I'm just resting. I'm, well, I am trying something. I'm trying to get my act back together. I'm trying to get my shirt back together. Um, yeah, and it's been a long time that I haven't been walking. It's been difficult, but then what can you do? I uh, stopped making these video updates about six months ago when I left Georgia. And then those of you who follow me on Instagram or on the blog, you know that about three or four months ago, I went back to Iran. And then after that, I stopped everything altogether. No more videos, no more pictures, no more, well, sometimes I post an update. But yeah, it got overwhelming for me and I sort of retreated to my cocoon and I'm trying to find the, the middle again. Um, but I keep getting messages and today I got one that touched me. I got a message on Instagram from a user called Elegant Lady, 1999 I guess. And uh, she said, I assume it's a she. Uh, she said her mom, who was 87 years old, she likes to watch my videos. And um, now that I'm not posting any updates, she started to get worried. So today she started asking about me. And that just made me feel terrible. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want to make any of you guys worry. Least of all, your mom. I'm sorry, I should, I should have posted some sort of update. I didn't think of this. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm fine. I exist. I'm okay. Um, I think I walked for a long time and I lost a few things on the way and possibly, <laughs> possibly my mind. But I'm working on getting them all together. And uh, yeah, that's difficult sometimes. Um, I'm looking out here at the rain. It just came down heavily. And um, I was thinking of um, that place in Azerbaijan. I forget the town's name, but maybe some of you guys remember when the caboose and I, we were walking through these torrential rains. It was terrible in that moment, terrible. We were soaking wet, everything was wet. It just came pouring down and I got so mad. And I think the caboose was mad and, and I was cursing the day. The caboose doesn't curse, she has style, but now that I look back at that time, you know, remembering because I saw the rain out here, it was awesome. It was awesome and I miss it. Yeah, but well, what can you do? I guess what they say is right. There's a time for everything. There's a time to play in the rain or to be angry in the rain. And then there's a time to sort of, you know, hide at home and try to figure out what you lost and how to get it back and how to get your shirt back together. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I hope there's gonna be more walking. I'm still confident. As you can see, I still have the hair. I still have the beard. So, you know, it's okay. The, the caboose is okay too. I just got pictures of her about three days ago. She's fine. She's in, uh, in this little village called Baghdati in uh, Georgia. I think she's very angry that I'm not there, that we're not walking. But then what can you do? You know, it's like a lover's spat. I have to figure out my stuff here. Uh, yeah, it's been an interesting ride these last few months. I'm probably going to write about it in one of my next books. It's uh, life, you know, sometimes life throws you a curveball, but sometimes it's sort of like, it's not life's fault, it's your own fault. You throw a boomerang and then you start wondering, what's going to happen? <laughs> well, you know what's going to happen, so yeah, you guys know me. Um, anyway, I was just going to post this update and say I'm fine, please don't worry. And I'm still hopeful that at some point we're going to be walking again, just not now. Um, if there is a warm summer rain where you're at, go outside. It's, um, it can be pretty nice. Peace.